If you're a barber, did you know that the products we use every day to clean our equipment and tools contain harmful chemicals that could cause cancer? Yep, that's the same thing I said when I read the product label. It may often be overlooked, but it's important to know about potential risks that barbers and clients may be exposed to in the barbershop. For infection control practices, certain chemicals are often used to clean and disinfect implements. These chemicals kill and prevent the transmission of infectious organisms, including bacteria, viruses, fungi, and parasites. Now, while the chemicals that are used for infection control are highly effective, they don't come without their drawbacks. In this video, I'll cover the differences between cleaning and disinfecting and go over the precautions you should take as a barber when handling certain chemicals. Cleaning and disinfecting, when done correctly, are two of the most effective methods for infection control. First, let's define the difference between the two because they are not the same. Cleaning is the process of scrubbing or brushing, usually with soap and water to remove all visible dirt, debris, and germs from implements and equipment. Disinfection is the use of a chemical spray to destroy most harmful organisms on surfaces. Disinfectants that are used in a barbershop must have three of the following properties. Number one, capable of destroying bacteria. Number two, capable of destroying viruses and number three, capable of destroying mold and fungi. And in some states, disinfectants must also be effective against tuberculosis. Here's a practical example of cleaning and disinfecting done in the right order. So let's say I've just finished the haircut and I have buildup in between the blades on the clipper. This will be considered cleaning. Since this is an electrical device, soap and water can't be used in this scenario. Spraying the blades with disinfectant and letting them sit for the allotted time, that would be disinfecting. Now aside from aerosol disinfectant, let's go over the other two types of disinfectants for barbershop use. Quats and phenolics. One of the most commonly used quats is called ship shape, which is used to disinfect combs and brushes. This multi-purpose cleaner quickly dissolves styling product buildup on combs, brushes, rollers, fixtures, and solid surfaces. The most common phenolic used in the barbershop is barbicide. Now both quats and phenolics require specific submersion time to be effective. We'll now cover precautions you need to take when dealing with these chemicals. The most important thing to remember when dealing with chemicals is to always read the label and follow the manufacturer's instructions. For example, Leaving implements in the solution too long can cause dulling or damage to the tools. Barbicide has a very high pH and can damage the skin and eyes. Don't let these chemicals come into contact with your skin. Causes irreversible eye damage and skin burns. The reason that they kill so many germs is because they're highly concentrated. And they also contain known carcinogens, which is why you need to make sure that you're wearing gloves and that you mix the ratios properly. This right here is so concentrated that it only requires two ounces per gallon. Water is a universal solvent so always mix the solute, the thing that's getting mixed, into the water. If the ratio is off, the solution will either be ineffective or too strong. Even when using aerosols, the label tells you to use it in a ventilated area and avoid contact with the skin. That's why it's a good recommendation to keep an air filter wherever you cut. If you don't take anything else from this video, take away this, always read product labels. This is honestly why I made this video. When I realized that improper exposure could lead to health problems, including cancer, I had to make this video to spread awareness. If this video was helpful, like the video and subscribe to the channel. It really helps the channel grow. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you all on the next video.